Lost comets that brush past the sun in their lives in November. But according to new calculations, a big enough comet that plunges into the sun should go out with a bang. Today we will discuss about what will happen if a comet hit our sun. Welcome back. This is Signature's Life. In the past few years, NASA's Solar and Heliospheric Observatory has discovered comets at a rate of three or more a week as they pass very close to the Sun. The smaller of these increases don't usually make it far. It is in the Sun's outer layer or corona that melts these comets as they graze its edge. The corona, though very hot, is too thin to transfer much heat. Instead, the intense glare of solar radiation sublimates ices into gas that escapes into space or causes the comets to crack apart. But recently observed comets have made it closer to the sun's surface than ever before. In 2011, comet Lovejoy actually passed through the solar corona, emerging much worse for year, but still loosely together. Comet Ison barely survived a similar trip in 2014. So, what would occur if a comet hit the sun head-on, slamming into its lower atmosphere? There is no reason for it not to happen. The sun is a pretty big target and there is enough stuff around flying in the solar system. To reach the sun's lower atmosphere, a comet would need a mass of at least 10 kilograms, a lower limit roughly a hundred times smaller than comets Ison and Lovejoy. If a comet is big enough and passes close enough, the steep fall into the sun's gravity would accelerate it to more than 600 km per second. At that speed, drag from the sun's lower atmosphere would flatten the comet into a pancake right before it exploded in an airburst, releasing ultraviolet radiation and X-rays that we could see with modern instruments. The crash would unleash as much energy as magnetic flare or coronal mass ejection, but over a much smaller area. It's like a bomb being released in the sun's atmosphere. A true impactor is likely to be a one-off event that might happen once a century. But thinking ahead in case of a sun-striking comet is a worthy exercise for a phenomenon that has almost certainly happened in the solar system's past and will happen again in the future. In 1994, the impact of comet shoemaker Levy 9 on Jupiter was a surprise to planetary scientists who doubted violent events like that could happen on human timescales. The calculations may also apply to other solar systems where young stars are bombarded with far more comets than the Sun has to face.